When you think of self-driving electric vehicles, your mind most likely first goes to the massively successful car manufacturer Tesla. But did you know that Tesla actually only ranks a mere two out of five on the scale of fully autonomous vehicles? But then, why did they name their newest autonomous system full self-driving? And if there are three levels above Tesla, why aren't we talking more about other vehicles that may meet the requirements for these? Are we being tricked by Tesla overlord Elon Musk, or is there more to this than meets the eye? Let's take a closer look. Many will argue that Tesla's dominance of the EV market is based on it being an early adopter and pioneer of electric cars as a whole. But of course, that isn't all there is to it. Tesla cars have sleek designs and are built to appeal to the largest number of people possible. Their long-range reach and cutting-edge technology has cemented them as the number one electric car company for a while now. A significant part of Tesla's allure is its self-driving technology. This technology, known as Autopilot, was developed through a combination of hardware and software advancements. Tesla vehicles are equipped with cameras, ultrasonic sensors, and radar to gather data from the environment. This data is processed by powerful onboard computers using proprietary algorithms. The functioning of Tesla's self-driving system involves real-time data processing. The vehicle continuously scans its surroundings, creating a 360-degree understanding of the environment. This allows the car to make instant decisions, like adjusting speed, changing lanes, or applying brakes. Tesla's reliance on fleet learning is also pivotal, where data from all Tesla cars on the road is used to improve algorithms and vehicle performance. However, as previously mentioned, Tesla's autopilot is only considered level two autonomy. This level essentially means that the car's internal system can control steering, acceleration, and deceleration, but it still requires the full attention of the driver. A Tesla driver must be ready to take control of the car at any time while on the road. The reason for this limitation is primarily due to both regulatory hurdles and the current limitations of Tesla's technology, which, while of course very advanced, isn't yet capable of handling all driving scenarios without human intervention. But other companies like Amazon-owned Zooks have achieved electric vehicles of autonomy level four. So what is going on here? Well, while Zooks is a vehicle that they themselves don't even classify as a car because it doesn't require or even offer a driver's seat at all, it also doesn't reach level five autonomy, which would mean it is 100% self-driving. At level four autonomy, Zooks is indeed fully autonomous as well, but with a caveat. A vehicle with level four autonomy is only considered fully functional under limited geographical conditions and isn't able to operate in every traffic scenario available. For example, Zooks and similar vehicles only exist in pre-established areas where its limitations aren't challenged by scenarios it isn't equipped for. Meanwhile, Teslas are a complete substitute for traditional manually driven cars, and hence the requirements and ambitions for them differ a bit from those of contemporaries like Amazon. The inclusion of the word full within Tesla's self-driving systems name has of course led to some controversy. Critics argue that the term full self-driving suggests a level of autonomy that the vehicles simply aren't capable of as of right now. As a level two autonomous vehicle, a Tesla car can't be seen as fully self-driving yet. Even regulators have expressed concerns regarding the naming, since it may cause drivers to expect a lower level of involvement while the autopilot system is active. In some regions, there have been calls for stricter guidelines regarding how technology like this can be marketed and used to look out for the safety of traffic on the roads. The naming and marketing of Tesla's FSD system also raises questions about ethical responsibility and liability, especially in cases of accidents or misuse. It opens discussions on how autonomous vehicle manufacturers should communicate the capabilities and limitations of their systems to consumers. Of course, there is also a lot of support for Tesla from fans all across the globe who applaud the company for their visionary approach to revolutionize the EV industry and their work to bring full autonomy to the masses. While both Elon Musk and Tesla are not strangers to controversy, they are of course at the same time working to make sure that new Tesla features are heavily tested according to standard safety procedures. But even if Tesla had reached full autonomy today, they may not be able to get this technology on the roads very soon at all anyway. Currently, most jurisdictions do not permit fully autonomous vehicles on public roads without a human driver ready to intervene. The current regulations are built on a cautious approach to this type of tech, as we can't yet be sure of the level of safety that comes with self-driving technology. 
Companies like Tesla are constantly on a mission to test and then prove the safety of their technological advancements, which obviously slows down progress a lot, albeit for good reasons. As the tech gets more advanced and proof of safety regulations being met come out, we will likely see more and more autonomy from our vehicles on all roads and in every different traffic scenario out there. But a level five autonomous vehicles at all possible, where we never have to drive a car ever again? Most experts believe so, but at the moment, we are in the research and development stage regarding these incredibly ambitious projects. It is entirely possible that we will see fully autonomous driverless cars within the coming years and decades, and maybe Tesla will even be the ones to make it happen, but only time will truly tell. Do you think autonomy is even something we should strive for? Or do you feel safer behind the wheel yourself? Do you think Tesla are a bit premature with their naming sense here? Or do you think they are well on their way to making all of this a reality? Let us know in the comments down below. For more coverage of autonomy, EV information and updates and everything else tech, make sure to subscribe to the Tech Oasis channel. And check out this video next to see how China has already taken autonomous electric vehicles to the skies and are looking at the the U.S. market next.